Hey everyone, Rick from Rick's RC and more. I got the SEX6 in front of me here. Uh, I took it out there the other day. And, uh, the steering servos on these uh, with the BEC that's built into your ESC, uh, it's it's pretty weak. It, uh, it will brown out. You can hear the, the fan on it labor down. I'm going to uh, just disconnect this. So what I'm going to try here, basically, is run direct power to my steering servo and uh, bypass the power it gets from the, the built-in uh, BEC on your ESC, if that makes any sense. Uh, this is... Uh, you could you could run a aftermarket BEC. You could wire that up uh, to get some more uh, more power in. But what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to try to to run direct power. The um, Amazon uh, one fifth scale servo I have in here. It's a 60 kilogram servo, and it's it is supposed to run uh, be able to handle up to 8.4 volts. So with the dual battery trays on these, I'm going to, uh, I normally put a, I run this on uh, 3S. I usually run a 3S on each side and just switch over when one dies. And then I kind of know I'm, I'm at my halfway point if I'm in on the trails and I carry a little extra backup one. So the idea I'm going to run a, a 3S on one side. I'll put a 2S on the other side to directly power the servo and uh, hopefully stop that uh, that browning out from happening. Uh, from what I've seen, you don't have to run an external BEC to, uh, to do this. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to disconnect this steering servo. And what I'll do is... I'll get this out of here. Is I'm going to be removing the black and red because those are your your ground and your your power wire and I'll leave the white that will be that's your signal wire to the servo from the uh, receiver and so the, all of these branched off to uh, to run off a two cell battery instead so uh, we'll see if this works so to make the the connection uh, from the, the servo directly to the battery. I had this old servo laying around. I just, uh, I simply removed this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, um, pop the wires out of the steering servo that's on there and put them in this guy. And then I'll, uh, I just cut this, this GST off and made it so that you can fit the two prongs into here on the servo I'll put your my uh, my negative and my positive in there and then I'm going to put a uh, Dean's plug on the end of this so that I have some of them kicking around and uh, that'll that'll uh, plug directly into the battery and then uh, this end that's on the servo will have the signal wire only and it will plug back into the receiver so I have some uh, some soldering to do We'll uh, continue on here. Okay, so now you'll see this is the steering servo wire. I have uh, the old servo plug connected on this side. I have my signal wire separate. I will have to uh, I'll have to peel these wires apart uh, so that this can go in with the receiver box where it's sealed up and uh, get uh, everything soldered up. I'll have my negative and my negative on this little mini GS, GS JST or whatever these little plugs are and uh, hopefully this works all right so here's my connector and then we'll go to the battery and this end is going to go to the uh, the servo wire that's directly going to power the servo I just made that up real quick now these these wires are pretty small I might have to uh, I might have to do something a little bit different down the road we'll see uh, for now let's uh, let's plug this in here 
make sure we're black to black and then we are going to plug our steering servo back into the receiver just like that now I'm gonna have to connect a battery to the ESC um, and connect a battery to this so here's the moment of truth I turn on the radio and I'm going to turn on our ESC here. Uh. And we have no steering. So I've got something not right here. Okay, so I wired it up on how I thought it would work and it wouldn't work. So what you have to do here, I, it's working now. What you have to do here now is you actually have to, you're going to have to run a, basically a double ground. If you don't have the ground plugged in on the signal wire, it will not signal the servo. So I just got this into the, once I unplug that other ground, I've got nothing. If I plug this ground back into the battery from the uh, receiver, uh, bear with me here. I've got right on the edge here, so I'm not uh, I'm not doing a whole lot of throw. I'm just going to shut this off. So. I have some extra wires laying around. What I'm going to have to do here basically to run this direct power is I have to either I have to run another ground off of here or or up here and then have it go with the uh, with the GST into the receiver here. It's a it's a bit of a pain. I wish I had known before I, I shouldn't wrap that up. I can make another one of these because I would like to run the ground off of here and not splice in here i could just solder it right on there so uh all right i'll have to uh that'll be the next step all right so here's my harness now i've run this extra extra ground with an end to, to plug into the servo lead because in order for it to work it's got to have that extra ground so that's going to bear with me here just trying to all right so this end has got your signal wire and your ground wire which is going to go into your receiver and then you've got your servo wire it's just your going to be your your power and your ground put that into here and it's going to go directly to your battery so now We are directly powering our servo. <laughs> I hit the trigger there. <clears throat> we are directly powering our servo. Um, not servo is laboring there, but you can hear the fan is not slowing down on the ESC. And that is because we're now running that servo directly off of our 2S battery. So at first when that didn't work, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of thinking, oh, I need an external BSC for this to work. But I mean, in my head, I was saying, no, this should work. 
It's just you have to have that ground running from your receiver to the battery as well as the ground off of your servo. Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, so if you want to get direct power to your servo on the uh, on the SCX6s, it's, uh, it's definitely possible. I'm going to uh, tidy up the, the wiring and everything and I'll, I'll run a 2S pack on the on this side just to power my my servo because it's six to eight volt and then uh 3s on the other side for the uh the power to the esc and the uh uh receiver and uh and whatnot so uh hopefully this uh this video helped you out if you're looking to do something like this i said it does uh it does work. There's a little bit of water in there, apparently, still. Um, it, it, it does work well. I'll uh, have to get it out in the trail. Like I said, it shouldn't brown out that ESC anymore, so that'll solve that issue. And um, this servo would only be getting, I would imagine, 6 volts from the BEC on this, uh, whereas now it is getting uh, 7.4 uh, volts off of the uh, 2S LiPo. So, everybody, get out. Enjoy your RCs.